So I reread The Divided Mind by Dr. Sarno again for the first time in about five years, and I had forgotten how really good the book is. If you haven't read it, I would highly recommend you do. But this time, I found additional meaning in the book that's really important if you're trying to cure TMS. Now, his prior books had just one main purpose, and that was to prove that the mind-body connection was real and that it could be applied to almost any chronic condition. But by the time he wrote The Divided Mind, which was his final book written in 2006, Sarno had added a secondary purpose that's just as important, and that second purpose is the focus of this video. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi friends, I'm John Thornton with a Pain Cure Clinic where we teach people how to cure chronic pain so that they can live a normal, happy, pain-free life that everyone deserves. And today I'm going to explain that second purpose to the divided mind, but first I want to give you a gift. It's our free workshop for curing TMS. The workshop is the next logical step after you've read one of Dr. Sarno's books. And if you take the actions outlined in the workshop, you should see symptoms improve in as little as a few weeks. So check it out at paincureclinic.us and there's a link below. Okay, so the second purpose in the book is to call out the corrupt pain management industry for perpetuating pain instead of stopping it. In fact, he says so very directly. The book's secondary purpose is to draw attention to the blinkered attitudes of too many practitioners of contemporary medicine who fail not only to acknowledge psychosomatic disorders, but who actually contribute to their spread by their failure to do so. But this calling out of the healthcare industry is not done out of malice. Dr. Sarno was not that kind of person. He had a reason for doing so. He knew, like I know, that in order for someone to heal themselves permanently, they have to do two things. They have to embrace the mind-body connection as the only correct solution to their chronic illness, but they also have to permanently distance themselves from the pain management industry. So Sarna knew that he had to eliminate pain management as an option so that his patients would not be tempted to drift back there because that's what people do all the time. In fact, Sarno summarizes the challenge perfectly in this very simple statement from chapter four. Denial of the syndrome is a characteristic of the syndrome, meaning denial of tension myositis syndrome is a universal characteristic of anyone who has TMS. So along with explaining TMS as the correct diagnosis, Sarno also exposes the pain management industry as being corrupt in a very direct way throughout the book. In fact, here's the first paragraph from the first page of the book. Healthcare in America is in a state of crisis. American medicine has been transformed into a dysfunctional nightmare of irresponsible practices, dangerous surgeries, bureaucratic regulations, and skyrocketing costs. Instead of healing people, the broken healthcare system is prolonging people's suffering. Instead of preventing epidemics, the healthcare system is generating them. Very strong words indeed, but I think Dr. Sarno knew how reticent his patients were to believe anything bad about their almighty doctors. And unlike his previous books, the gloves were definitely off in the divided mind. Here's another quote from the book related to back surgery. Spinal fusion is being widely performed despite the lack of evidence that it has any value whatsoever. Doctors, hospitals, and manufacturers of hardware seem to use the procedures for financial gain only. The cost of hardware alone has soared to two and a half billion dollars a year. My medical school professors would be shocked and horrified at what has happened to the practice of medicine. Sarno is clearly attempting to pull these almighty doctors off their pedestals so that his patients would have a better chance of healing. Because make no mistake, these two methods are mutually exclusive. If the mind-body connection is right, 
then your doctors must be wrong. And they usually are, at least when it comes to chronic pain and chronic illness. Okay, folks, that's it for this video. Don't forget to pick up that free workshop before you go. And thanks for watching.